Hello, I'm Brett Robin Wood and uh, I create songs and conversations to explore life and I'm very delighted today to have a guest for the first time. So it's a great moment in the history of this channel and my guest is Lisa Wood who is um, an expert, has a wonderful expertise in movement which is built from early professional career as a professional dancer and then became a Pilates instructor and then a master trainer in gyrotonics, which is a very elegant and highly effective movement system. And Lisa's also drawn from uh, all kinds of methodologies like craniosacral therapy, yoga, and, and many, many other things. So really delighted to have Lisa on the channel because today's topic is around the human body, this wonderful expression of consciousness that we're gifted with. So, Lisa, welcome. How are you going? Oh, good. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> um, thanks for inviting me. Oh, delightful to have you. So we are going to uh, have a little conversation together around about the marvellous human body. Um, and I'm going to start with a song. And yeah, this song is called Stand Up. And after the song, we'll, yeah, Lisa and I'll just have a bit of chat, see where the conversation goes. And uh, yeah, you at home, see what jumps out at you around this song. Stand up. Sitting down all day, it's sapping your power, creating spinal injury at zero miles an hour, getting tech neck. Yeah, that's a thing. Waiting for the disc to slip and all the pain it brings. It's a recipe for disaster and distress. Your body's not a machine, it's an expression of consciousness. If you treat it like a thing to carry your head around, you'll end up dead from the neck top down. So stand up from your couch. Stand up, ease out of that slouch. Stand up. Fight the tyranny of the sticky and the sinister sedentary. Technology's great, but you've got to show it who's boss, or it will suck out your soul. Leave your body crushed, those time-saving apps for a more efficient way. What did you do with all the time you saved? You kept on grinding deadlines to deliver. If you don't do it now, it'll pile up down river. So you knuckled down, ignored your body's pleas, sacrificed health for productivity. Hey, stand up from your desk or your couch. Stand up, ease out of that slouch. Stand up. Fight the tyranny of the sticky and the sinister sedentary. Body positive, I'm down with that. Some people are thin, some people are fat. You don't need a body like a star on TikTok, but you've got to move around. Walk around the block, hey, walk around the house, walk around the room. Walk around during that meeting on Zoom. Swap an hour of Netflix for an hour of exercise. And remember, your body expresses your life. So stand up from your seat. Do a little dance. Move your feet. Stand up. Get off your ass. Kick your shoes off. Touch grass. Stand up. It's up to you who you're going to be as you do what you do. All righty. So, oh, Lisa, what, what goes through your head? What goes through your head as that song? Well, um, thanks, Brett. I mean, that's very poetic. A lot of... Um things I have I think that's happening in this time um, of technology um, mm. and disregarding the body somewhat yeah so mm. um, yeah I love in that song you know um, your body's not a machine it's a, an expression of consciousness um, mm. 
I think that's really, you know, when people think of exercise, I think you've got to reframe it as well. People have to do something that they really love. Um, because mechanical movement, it's not inspiring. Um, you know, if you go to the gym, if, you, if it looks like mechanical movement, you can be doing something inside, like checking your alignment. You can really be inside your body with the breath. So I'm not meaning, you know, just linear movement, but um, yeah, I really like that. Um, yeah, that, that says a lot. Um, ah, thanks. Yeah. And price with health for product, productivity. So we can't be productive. Mm. Um, everything slows down. Mm. Yeah. When our body's not mm. alert and alive. Yeah. Um, I am. Um, that makes me think when I'm, sometimes at my desk for long periods and um yeah the story i tell myself is i just i don't have time to take a stretch break i i um so i think in the background there's this belief like i have to i must i have to keep keep grinding or you know something bad will happen you know i'll lo miss the deadline or this or that and and like you say in the long run if i don't look after my body then actually something really bad <laughs> will probably happen so I sacrifice mm. long-term health for this sort of short-term idea of what I think, you know, um, mm. yeah, my stress of the delivering, you know, what I think I should deliver. It's, it's interesting. And if you think of productivity, so like a lot, of the, a lot of the work we do requires a sharp brain. Can I say that? Mm. Um, and what we don't think about um, bring a bit of the craniosacral into it, all your nerves in your body that come down from your spine, you've got the 12 uh, cranial nerves. Um, so your spine is actually an extension of your brain. Mm -hmm. So you can work that by working your spine in movement to fire up these brain pathways. So you can go, you know, the other way. And so I think that's very productive. That's very helpful. Mm. Wow, I'm still <laughs> sitting with that comment. Your spine is an extension of your brain. I mean, that's that's amazing. I think it's just so easy to think of, you know, the, the head as being something up here and then the body's just the kind of vehicle that carries it around. And um, I just love that extension, that idea that it's, it is, yeah, it's like an, it's an expression, isn't it? It's, 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 it has a voice. It's telling you stuff. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, every system in our body, I mean, to be alive is to move really everything moves we've got blood pumping we've got lymphatics pumping we've got electricity through our bodies so um some of that uh internal movement uh, some of those pumps in the body rather actually need movement the lymphatic system which is basically taking all the waste out of the body what doesn't fit in the blood yeah mm. that doesn't have its internal pump so things like the elbows the spine the knees every joint in your body you have to move it and as you're moving it you're actually pumping the toxins out of your body so it's a self-cleaning mechanism things like your kidneys you know they have to bounce um, I can't remember the number but a certain amount of times a day your kidneys have to actually bounce to be the filter of um you know the fluids coming through mm. so sitting at a desk you know if you're not getting that bounce it glides along the the psoas muscle there's so many functions in the body i mean mm -hmm. i could go on and on but i just really love how you said you know stand up kick your shoes off um mm. and listen to your body i think that's the main thing it mm. expresses your life and where you want to go mm. So if you are in struggle and you've got to get through this, you don't have time for um, lunch, moving, exercise, what does that, what's that really saying about your values and how much you value yourself? Mm. Um, yeah. Wow, yeah, thank you. Um, <clears throat> as you're talking about the kidney pumping and... Um, was it the kidney kidneys? Kidneys. Yeah. They have to and, then, and then you and then you said you could go on. There's so much more, and I just get this sense of 
what a miracle it is. Like just what an astounding miracle. And people like yourself who really delve in it and will devote a huge part of your life to understanding and helping others, you know, you know so much. And yet still there's so much more. It's just infinite, isn't it? And what a miracle that is. And I'm really, um, I don't know, I guess I'm feeling a bit of sadness in a sense that, um, isn't it strange? I'm curious, like, why do you think it is? Like, why, why can we get so disconnected? from something so miraculous that that has its wisdom and knows what to do and mm. how is it that we mm. override that or I don't know. And I think a lot of it's the training. Um, you know, I could say a lot about the school system mm. and this is why a lot of kids, you know, they're being labelled, you know, can't sit still, you know, ADHD, all of that. Well, you know, part of it um, has to do with um, we're born to move and to play and um, mm. we're really not designed to sit for a lot of hours. Mm. Um, yeah. Mm. We learn, you know, there's so much to smell outside, the, the tactile feeling of sand on our feet or the earth on our feet. We're so wearing shoes. There's a lot of different things. And I think it starts from childhood. We kind of get a bit disconnected. Um, mm. That. A lot of schools now are changing that, which is yeah, really yeah. Cool. Um, I was very lucky. I have to say my background in dance, what it did give me was, um, and particularly classical ballet, which, um, you know, there's pluses and minuses about that. But energetically, we all have this central channel, yeah, inside of us. Um, I don't have to go into the energy, but people know, you know, when you're on centre or when you're focused, you know, playing mm. golf or you've got something and you're able to tune in, you're aligned. You can use all these words, but everyone knows what that is mm. and what it, what it's not actually. Yeah. Chaos yeah. is what it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's when we're in our power and what ballet taught me it gave me this sense of up, down and um, really building all of these neural pathways. And anyone can at any age can keep building more neural pathways through the spine, from the brain, out through the capillaries, all the way, you know, through our limbs. Mm -hmm. So then you actually have command of your body and it's an interesting thing. Your reflexes become better. Mm. So it's particularly in older age, there's a lot of, um, you know, falling over and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of it um, is due to this dampening down of those, mm. those neural networks. Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? You know, you, uh, um, you see people sometimes who are quite young who look, it's like they've just become old and, and, and other people who are quite old chronologically who have maintained youthfulness. And, yeah, and may, maybe some of that's out of our control in terms of inherited genes and things, but I, I think so much of it maybe we don't realise is in our control and every choice we make along the way. And, um, you know, that swap an hour of, it, uh, swap an hour of Netflix for an hour of exercise... Remember, your body expresses your life. It's like you reminded me that I'd sung that, and um, the body expresses your life. And and so, so I think one of the traps a lot of people I work with in coaching is they um, they work so hard, they're so driven for good reason. You know, they want to earn money and put their kids through school and look after ailing parents and. You know, so it's go, 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 and the system around them uh, is all caught up in that as well. So I, I'm not saying it's easy, but um, for some of them, they work so bloody hard. And then when they get to the end of the day, well, they, they want some kind of, I don't know, escape or reward. or So then what is it? It's Netflix, you know, and wine. And, <laughs> and, and some of them speak to me of realising just how that's got an end date on it, that kind of life, that kind of living. And... Um, that Netflix, as fun as it is, it's man, it's just it's all part of it, isn't it? The the you know punish your body and then kind of punish it more by <laughs> giving yourself a break from all that hard work by 
sitting on the couch and well, looking at the screen again. Sitting on the couch, you know, <clears throat> and having a glass of wine if, if you want to do that, you know. But, um, yeah, just balancing it out. So you mm. could, I mean, that could be real therapy for you, but is it throughout the day have you taken the opportunity mm. to move your body so if you you haven't then yeah it's not going to be a great um mm. thing for you long term mm. but if you've you know if you have done some movement through the day if you've walked the dog or if you've got up and cycled or cycled to work or done a class at lunchtime um mm. that's the thing you think it has to be this big thing but you could do mm. 15 minutes in the morning 10 minutes at lunch you know um can I just ask you, just some, this is reminding me of something you said at the very beginning, which might be a nice one to kind of start to wrap up with, is you mentioned, you said something about just like mechanical movement, there's no joy in it. Could you expand a little bit on that? Yeah, well, I see, um, I see sometimes in the, the fitness um, regime, um, working your body from sort of the outside in. So what I mean by that is it's kind of punishing your body. So there's no relationship with um, what feels good. Mm. Yeah. And not to be confused with pushing your limits because that can be really great mm. as well. But... Um, just so that you're not sacrificing your breath or your mobility, mm. um, coming from a place of, of joy in the movement. Yeah, I'm excited mm. I'm going to look this way. I'm excited I'm going to go to dance class or I'm going to partner dance or I'm going to mm. – I love my game of tennis or, you know, mm. I love walking on the beach. Um, yeah. So I think to answer the question – um, a bit better would be am I embodied, am I inside my body mm. checking in with my body parts as I'm exercising mm. or yeah. am I just, um, you know, ripping my hamstring because I want to get this yoga pose or something Yeah, like that. Is, it, does the health just become another box to tick? on the do it, do it, get it done, be productive. And, you know, there's the hazard, isn't there? Can we find the joy and the appreciation of this miracle? And I know a big breakthrough for me, as you know, when I had um, back problems a while back um, or some years back is the big breakthrough for me was having a good reason to work on it because I was in this pattern of I'd work on it when it was bad and just enough to get it better and then I'd kind of forget about it again. Um, but the real breakthrough is having a, a, a reason, something beyond just, oh, I should exercise. And, and that was wanting to be able to pick up my daughter and dance around the room. And, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, maybe that's a, I don't know, what do you say to that? Is it, is purpose got something to do with it? Oh, totally. Um, we take so many things for granted. If you have a body that's functioning, um, you know, it only takes a fall or to put you out and you realise, you know, how you didn't value um, just being able to walk. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I think if we can tune into that gratitude before, we maybe, you know, have to hurt yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Well, oh, one more quick story I've got to tell you. Remind me, because I got, I had a collision with a rookie skier who just came out of nowhere and, you know, man, it was huge and my ribs got you know, really punished and, but what's really interesting is that very morning before I went skiing, I did a Feldenkrais sequence. And if, you, if you're watching, you don't know what Feldenkrais is. It's a really wonderful system that works with a lot of subtlety and organisation of the body. Uh, and I'd done one that morning in preparation for skiing. And I really had some flexibility there um, and awareness. And, you know, when accidents happen, things go into slow motion. And I really felt the mechanics of my body being able to cope with that in a way uh, and even so, I was, had bruised ribs, you know, for a couple of months of, of you know, discomfort there. But I, I reckon quite possibly it might have been a lot worse if I hadn't um, put that work in. So I'm really appreciating 
people like you, Lisa, who know about methodologies and ways in, and people like Moshe Feldenkrais, and um, who created gyrotonics, uh, what's his name? Julia Horvath. Yeah, you know, and, and many others. And I suppose I'll just say to the people out there, um, uh, yeah, I hope maybe you found your thing and being human, you probably have phases where you, you're in it and you're really honouring the body and phases where you go mindless and forget. And So I yeah, hope this has been useful for you to think about um, your body as an expression of consciousness. And thank you, uh, Lisa, so much for, for, for joining me for this conversation and being my very first guest uh, on the Delving Music and Delving channel with an actual guest. So thank you. All right, folks, uh, let me just see if I can find my and show button. And yeah, till next time. Yeah, happy, happy being in a body and being alive. Bye. <laughs>